you can almost see the mountains. I can see them better than the camera's picking up. It would be beautiful. Well, that marble, it looks like snow, but it's marble rock. I'm not marble, uh, granite. Good morning. It is August 9th, Monday, day 21. I've been saying them wrong. <laughs> Figured it out last night. Well, that campsite turned out to be pretty nice. Uh, I saw the other one this morning. It was horrible, so I'm glad I stopped where I did. It was a little windy, kept waking me up, but uh, I fell asleep early and then I woke up because of the wind and I looked at my phone for a little while. I had service and uh, I fell asleep about two and I didn't wake up till 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I needed it though. I was exhausted. Hadn't slept, you know, the two nights before I didn't sleep. And my worst nightmare has happened. Uh, I hadn't really talked about it, but I dropped a kidney stone. I know for a fact. I, uh, this morning I had to, when I woke up, I had to pee bad and I kind of did a sit up get up and I felt that stone in my urethra it moved it's not stuck so I'm not having that horrible pain but it is in there uh, so I am just going all like you can do doctors won't even do anything until it gets stuck so I'm just gonna drink water till it comes out of my ears I've never passed a stone I've, I've had to have three surgeries that get so big but I don't know right now I can't worry about it but I'm at a water source right now. I've gone about two miles. I started hiking at 12. <laughs> I was at the my water source by the campground. And I'm thinking I'm so far in the wilderness, you know. Here comes three trail runners. Uh, two guys and a girl. <laughs> so there must be a trailhead somewhere near here. This area today is gorgeous. Oh my God, the uh, smoke is gone. I have hiked two miles and taken enough video for a, a whole uh, video. 
it has just been breathtaking. So anyway, I'm gonna drink water and start hiking again. I did talk to the man upstairs. See if you can't help me out with this kidney stone. We'll see. Well, just had a little, little. Just had a day hiker come by uh, when I was down there getting water. And uh, I was telling him he was in for a treat here in about a mile. And uh, he said, yeah, my app that he was using only went to this water source. And I said, oh, you got to at least go another 1.8 miles to the next water source. You'll be in for a treat. He said, well, it's going to be hard to beat what I just saw. So I, I got a little climb coming up. I'll be going on the other side. Looks like I'll have another awesome view. So I just drank a liter and a half of water. And I just drank a liter less than two miles ago. <laughs> And I still don't even have to pee. But <clears throat> I'm sure I will hear short two and a half liters of water in me. Well, it's about 4.30. I haven't been on here much. I've been slow rolling today. <laughs> Actually, when I left that water source and got out of those woods, oh my Lord, the next three miles was just actually breathtaking. There's no uh, smoke today. So I probably did one mile an hour taking so many pictures and videos. Uh, I have no idea how many miles. It's not many, because I didn't, like I said, start till almost 12.30. I just went through this section. I was kind of in the open above that Kinney Lake that I just showed. And something stung my leg when I went through. It was real weedy. And I look, and there's poodle dog bush everywhere. And 
I'm sure the people in the south don't know what that is. It's this poisonous bush in California. Supposedly it'll make you sick. I don't know. I mean, I don't know much about it, but I could see where a couple places it blocked the trail and people were walking around it, so I'm pretty sure it was Poodle Dog. So anyway, I just stopped at a campsite and I got some alcohol wipes and I rubbed the hell out of my legs. I don't know if it's like poison ivy, if you can get it off before it gets in, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see tonight. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, there is a campsite, but it's like five miles from here on a lake, or it says pond, but then somebody said you've, you've got to walk past the rocks and there's actually a lake. Uh, but hell, I won't get there at 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I don't know. <laughs> Rough day. Just met these two foreign guys. I don't know where they're from. One of them was a little hard to understand. The other guy spoke pretty good English. And they were uh, hiked the Sierras and they'd gotten to here. And they only have like a three to four weeks left or whatever they got to leave. Or they asked me what they were thinking about going to Washington. And I said, hell yeah. I said, go to Snoqualmie Pass and hike north. <laughs> that should take you about three weeks. Well, I'm debating... I'm by this lake. They said it's only 500 meters in. I'm thinking about calling it a day. I mean, hell, I just feel like crap, but <laughs> I'll have a day and a half of food left to do, I don't know how many miles. Probably almost 40. <laughs> Well, ever since I left Kenny Lake, I couldn't find any access to uh, the water. It was all just rocks. I saw one tent site, but you couldn't get to the water. So anyway, it's like walking in the Sierras here. There are tent sites everywhere. And half a mile from here, there's an American flag on top of that mountain. <laughs> but anyway, supposedly a half a mile from here, there's water and tent sites everywhere and i'm seeing them they're just this is all this like sierra sand <laughs> it's like walking on a little beach but i'm whipped just not uh this damn kidney stone has got me messed up <clears throat> so i'm not sure well i found a camp not the greatest <laughs> I'm by several ponds there's a pond out there that's where I got my water there's a real stagnant one back right there mile 1604.6 I think and back here was three tent sites actually there's tent sites all over here but none of them were level there's a big old marsh back there but there are no bugs so anyway there's the lunar solo there's the stagnant pond. Actually, I set it up good tonight. It's going on 7 o'clock. I need to hurry up. But anyway, I'm going to... There's tent sites all back in here. And there's a bunch of rocks up here. And I have a nice view, so I'm going to eat up here. All right. Uh, not many miles. I don't even know how many. Don't even want to think about it. Bad day. Bad day today. All right. See you in the morning.